Hey folks, welcome back to some Red Dead Redemption. Uh, we are here, uh, going to, uh, take care of some business here. Oh yeah. You okay, buddy? I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Yeah, great. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. How convenient. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to Yeah, I don't fucking care about your conversation, you dumb fucking idiots. You don't know how to fucking drive. Or get a better fucking government car. I mean, let's be real here. We should take the engine to the car. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Okay. Whatever, man. Here we are. Thank God for that. Yes, so, thank God. This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. Okay. I tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Okay. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Hey, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good oh, God. Day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Oh, God. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, Work on him. We need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Oh, God. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't yeah. you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. You know what? who the problem is? You are. You're the fucking problem. Alright, well. Okay. <sighs> hmm, McDougal or... <clears throat> Douchebag McGee. Let's see what McDougal wants. Seeing how I'm right there. At home with Dutch, huh? Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Been better. Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. Yeah. These problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads, huh? Yeah. Tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. Man, what the fuck Scottish. are you doing? Hmm. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir. I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple. God damn it, Megu. Well, shut the fuck up. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. What? Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again. What? No. They're exactly the same. No it's shit. Remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. 
Not right Syringe of cocaine? No, it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. Oh, oh, Nastas, come on. Come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. And these savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. No, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Yes. Both of you. Yes. Bacalin has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. All right. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, okay. Marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Oh, God. Why the fuck is he coming with me? So, a scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange trinity we make. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Yeah, I will. Just get fucking going, my buddy. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderland um, fascinates me. He did me wrong. Oh, got me in this mess. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking it's kill him. Reverse integration or regressive acculturation that... I don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but I of mean... course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time. Oh, I shut, must up, admit. Dude, shut, up, shut up, dude. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of night. Hey, Buffalo. Trail, if I remember correctly. Well, we ran in a gang together, Professor. I'm gonna try to read too much into it. It's yeah. my job to read too much into everything. Oh, shut up, boy. McDougal. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth <laughs> are you talking about, Nassau? Hindsight. Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, the they evolve. What fuck are you Hunting talking time, about? We'll make the buffalo stronger. No, it don't. These trees are quite foreboding, the stars. Are, are you sure this is the right way? It's this way, mister. Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Oh my word. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Boy. Or are you making a sweeping statement are, about the are, white man in general? Are you just there a barrel no of fun, both of these the two people? Anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk to me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Come on, guy. Giant fucking bear. No, 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 no. Um, I killed two fucking bears. I want their hides. When you kill something, you take it. Oh, what were you eating? I mean, let's be real here. Not often you kill two bears with one. 
Oh god. You stink. I saw another bear. You, bear. That freaked me out. I don't normally see that many bears in this game. I mean, now I gotta run to that bear now. I mean... I know I have to get back on my horse. Let me get my kill. trying to get at, buddy. <laughs> I'm leaving that carcass of Let's make this quick. a fucking bear. This is getting intense here, folks. This is getting very intense with the bear and the, you know, all this shit going on here. Everything's like become amplified and shit. <laughs> you know. But God damn. I think I'm happy now. Go. I mean, sorry I had to stop the convoy here, but there's the cliffs. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Okay. Whatever. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving, mister. Give yeah. me your leg. Yeah, I will. Uh, let me skin my fucking animal. Now, this is a new animation. This will fetch a good price. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck are you at, my friend? Come on, I won't drop you. Yeah, I know. Come on. Come on. Here's a good guy. Come on. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. 
I will have a look around. <laughs> Great. Look at that. Dun 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 Very good. Shit 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 shit. For a minute there I thought I was going to be uh Alright. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. I'm talking this one? Good. This should save us some time. That was my fault. Excuse me. Dead end. This way! There's some gold in the mountains. <laughs> okay. You okay, man? God damn, that was uh... go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Ow. That, uh, kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Guess what? Fuck you and your goddamn head! <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked that one up. Last still. <laughs> I mean, I fucked him up. Oh, Jesus. We'll go with the bigger round. I mean, not really much I can do about that.
God damn it. Okay, that's uh, not what I wanted, but whatever. Oh, Lord. This is nasty. Yeah, it is nasty. But thanks for watching, folks. Till next time, goodbye.